Today we look at the luxurious mansions of Hollywood's elite. These celebrities have a great taste for houses and real estates. From singers like Bruce Springsteen and Adele to businessmen like Jeff Bezos and Walt Disney not forgetting actors like Nicolas Cage and Sandra Bullock. All details you need are in this video. Lisa Vanderpump Lisa Vanderpump's mansion, known as Villa Rosa, is widely recognized for its many appearances on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This luxurious mansion spans 8,801 square feet and features five bedrooms and eight bathrooms. Her famous neighbors include everyone from Lizzo and Jessica Alba to Harry Styles. The mansion was worth $12 million when she first moved in, but now it's worth over $20 million thanks to several lavish renovations. Bruce Springsteen Bruce Springsteen, best known for Born in the USA, is one of America's biggest rock stars. It should be no surprise that his Beverly Hills mansion is the epitome of luxury and privacy. This mansion spans 10,000 square feet and features four bedrooms and six bathrooms. There is also a 7,500 square foot guest house on the four acre property. The rock star first bought the home in 1999 for $13.75 million. However, Bruce Springsteen recently put his massive property on the private market for $60 million. Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos once held the title of the richest man in the world, and while he has been surpassed, he still owns one of the priciest mansions in Beverly Hills. He first purchased the 10-acre property in 2020 for nearly $175 million and quickly began construction. Since buying the home, Jeff Bezos has slowly been expanding it to span 28,000 square feet. In addition to the mansion, the property features a gym, pool house, and pergola. The pool house spans 697 square feet, and they are also building a house for security guards on the property. Ryan Seacrest Worth $70 million, Ryan Seacrest's Beverly Hills mansion is one of the best in the neighborhood. The lavish mansion sits on a three-acre property and features two guest houses. Ryan Seacrest's estate also features an underground garage and a pool house with a gym. The main house on the property measures 8,628 square feet with six bathrooms and four bedrooms. Lizzo Lizzo made headlines when she bought a massive Beverly Hills mansion from Harry Styles in 2022. The house cost Lizzo $15 million, and it was built in 2019. This three-bedroom, three-bathroom house spans 5,300 square feet. One of the highlights of the estate is the 58-foot infinity pool. The unique luxury treehouse design makes Lizzo's estate stand out among the 15,000 houses and condos in Beverly Hills. Adele In 2022, Adele purchased Sylvester Stallone's hidden mansion in Los Angeles for an eye-watering $58 million. The mansion can be found in Beverly Park, just above Beverly Hills. The area is also home to celebrities such as The Rock, Justin Bieber and more. The property spans 1,726 square meters and contains 8 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms, celebrities love bathrooms. Adele owns another, smaller, property which she paid $10.65 million for before announcing her separation from her husband, this is located at 9575, Hidden Valley Road, according to sources. Taylor Swift Taylor Swift is the classic girl next door, but when she's not singing about breakups or shaking it off, she is snapping up homes in Beverly Hills. Her main home is a $25 million mansion, which she petitioned the city of Beverly Hills to have designated as an historic landmark in 2017. The four-bedroom mansion named the Goldwyn Estate is the former home of Samuel Goldwyn, the co-founder of Goldwyn Pictures, now called MGM. Madonna's Home The Queen of Pop purchased her home for $12 million in 2003 and renovated it to house a whopping 15 bathrooms. Other amenities include an on-site tennis center, plunge pool and theater. In 2013, she sold the property of $19 million. The lovable, charismatic talk show host Ellen loves interior design and luxury home decor. She is an avid house flipper and has bought and sold over seven properties in Beverly Hills. For example, in 2003, Ellen bought a Beverly Hills home from Muchnick for approximately $6 million, then after she sold it to Will Ferrell just three years later for $9 million, making a juicy profit. In 2019, Ellen and her wife Portia de Rossi, purchased Adam Levine's former Beverly Hills mansion for an eye-watering $45 million. The 10,376-square-foot property contains five-bedroom and a staggering 12 bathrooms, which does seem extreme but perhaps everybody in Maroon 5 wanted to bring a friend. Phil Collins' home. Just down the road from the Queen of Pop, is another iconic music legend, Phil Collins. His Beverly Hills home was originally known as Waverly Mansion and has been owned by him for many years. 
Collins is also a community spokesman and has previously hosted the LA Conservancy, which spreads awareness about historic landmark houses in LA. Phil Collins would be a pretty annoying neighbor if you ask me. Stars homes in Beverly Hills. To be honest I would find him a pretty annoying neighbor, banging those drums all the time. Gene Hackman's home. Gene Hackman is movie legend, know for his performances in Superman as Lex Luthor and in movies such as The Poseidon Adventure. His home also fit for any successful supervillain. With a long meandering driveway and secure gate and a lush garden surrounding. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is most well known for her epic performance in The Hunger Games and her down-to-earth personality in real life. She famously puked at Madonna's party and smelled Brad Pitt. In 2014, she purchased a luxury five-bedroom mansion for $8 million and a starstruck list of prior owners which included Jessica Simpson and you guessed it, Ellen DeGeneres. The property is a European feel with a gorgeous landscaped gardens and of course a swimming pool and gym, to help prepare for the next Hunger Games of course. Rihanna's home. The former home of Rihanna, is a private, gated and secluded property with 8,500 square feet of living area including nine bathrooms and seven bedrooms. The architect designed this house to offer a seamless flow between indoors and outdoors. Rihanna's kitchen is modern and clean which leads on to the pool and spa which offers city and canyon views. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas's Cage is an interesting character with problematic habits for splashing out and big spending. From many multiple luxurious yachts, to a rare animal collection and even a castle. As a legendary actor with massive earnings, you wouldn't think this would be an issue, but unfortunately, he doesn't know how to pay his tax. A few years back he was fined heavy for tax evasion and some of his homes had to be sold to pay the fine. This foreclosed property is just next to LA Country Club. Hugh Hefner's home. Hugh Hefner, the ultimate playboy and his famous playboy mansion is located on the west side of LA Country Club, not too far from Nicolas Cage's foreclosed property. He purchased the property back in 1971 for just $1 million recently it sold for $200 million. The sale included a sought-after zoo permit which the new owner got the benefit of. I would love to see the moving in list, beds, check, sofa, check, giraffe and lions, erm. Jay Leno's home. Jay Leno started his career in stand-up before becoming the host of The Tonight Show for over 20 years. But it's clear to see who's laughing now, he purchased his mansion back in 1987 and is famous for its large selection of garages which house one of the largest private collections of classic cars in the world. Jennifer Aniston's home. The favorite girl next door, Jennifer Aniston started in everybody's favorite show Friends before hitting the big time as a Hollywood movie star. Her home is very special to her and was designed by architect A. Quincy Jones. In the words of Jennifer, it's a home which vibrates with the love that created it. After purchasing her home for $20.1 million and then pursued a two-year renovation project she thanked the craftspeople and designers upon completing humbly. I am so proud of this house. And I want to celebrate the people who made it, the master craftsmen who poured so much of themselves into its creation. Architects and designers have called her home a masterclass in low-key luxury. Jennifer Aniston may have her dream home, but her love life is not so perfect. From her marriage with Brad Pitt which ended in divorce after an alleged affair with Jolie on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, to her new marriage to Justin Thoreau in 2015, which also ended in divorce in 2017, she has had a rocky love life. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock is one of Hollywood's most beloved actresses, most known for being Miss Congeniality. Bullock dropped $16.9 million in 2011 on seven-bedroom mansion, just next door to the iconic Ricky Martin, live in La Vida Loca. Bullock used to own a home right on Sunset Strip which she rented out for just $18,500 per month, but reports suggest the landlady life wasn't for her and thus she sold in 2018. Marilyn Monroe is Cher. This property has been owned by a number of notable movie stars and celebrities over the years. The owner of Fox, Joseph Schneck, was the first before Tony Curtis, Burt Reynolds, Cher and of course the great Marilyn Monroe. It's clear to see why, with over 12,000 square feet, 9 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, it's ideal for any movie star and all their friends. Michael Jackson's Home The King of Pops, iconic home in the Holmby Hills was his last residence before his premature death. The home was sold for $18 million in 2012. After his death, all his painting, art, furnishings and even his deathbed were auctioned of as well leading up to the sale. If you fancy heading to another piece of Jackson's history, drive around two hours west to arrive at Neverland Ranch, 5225, Figueroa Mountain Road, Los Olivos, California, 93441, USA, 
the magical location which housed a train, zoo, and even a fun-sized fun fair. This place became very controversial during the court cases before Jackson's death. Michael Jackson's Beverly Hills Home Death Bed Flowers Auction 100, North Carrollwood Drive. Fans were invited inside MJ's Beverly Hills home to place flowers and notes of condolence upon his passing. Walt Disney's home. Carrollwood Drive is definitely the perfect place to tick of a few celebrity homes. Just down from Rod Stewart's place you will find the remains of Walt Disney's old house. The property was purchased in 1949 and sold for $74 million before been converted to the Kilgur building. The original house does not remain but there are still signs of Walt Disney nearby, be sure to check out the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad which was a 7 plus quarter inch gauge rideable miniature railroad run by Walt Disney in the backyard of his home in the Holmby Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles, California.